Welcome to another Fast Tips video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. Today's Fast Tip is literally a fast tip. I'm going to show you a quick way that a lot of people don't know, surprisingly, how to easily change one of the data sources in a query to something else. I'll tell you why in just a second. Okay, so this is something that I was doing myself in my own database last night, and I'm like, that would make a pretty cool tip because a lot of people that I've talked to don't know this. Yeah, if you've been using Access for 30 years like I have, sure. But, okay, so I have a query that I use for various purposes that checks orders against customers. And I, I really only need to check orders for the past 30 days or 60 days or whatever. But the query that I was using for the longest time, I built it years ago, was just pulling in the order table. So it was going through all of the orders, which is really slow, especially over a network. So I simulated it with this order customer, okay? And all this is, is you got the customer table joined to the order table, right? I got some customer fields down here. I got some order fields down here and a couple calculations, okay? But again, if you're working over a network, this order table might be pulling in tens of thousands of records that you don't need. And of course, in order for this query to process the information properly, it's gotta pull in all of the customer records and all of the order records. And again, even over my network, which I got a really fast network and there's only two machines on it, well, three, but the two that actually use the database, and it's slow. <laughs> so to speed things up, instead of pulling in the order table, you can make yourself a query. I made an order 60 day queue here. And again, I only have some sample records in here, but if you take a look at this guy, right? It's, it brings in the order T and it brings in the order date all right, and I'm only showing records from the past 60 days. So the date has to be greater than date minus 60 or 60 days ago. Now, what will happen is this query will evaluate first before the big query does. Okay, so that right there is going to cut a lot of time off of there because it's only processing these records, which is faster. So what I want to do is I want to substitute in this big query, right? I want to substitute order 60 day queue instead of this order T, okay? But here's the problem. If I delete the order T, watch what happens down here. I just lost all those fields. That's a pain. I don't wanna have to go back and figure out what fields I needed and redo all that again. No, that's, there's gotta be an easier way. And here's where, the, here's where the tip comes in. Here's the trick. All right, let me close this and not save changes. Go back to what I had, okay? Now, you seasoned access people who've been using access for a while, you're going to be like, yeah, duh. But I talk to a lot of beginners, especially who don't know this trick. What you're going to do is, even though you're going to be getting rid of order T, leave it here for now. Go to add tables. All right. And bring in the query that you want, which in this case is the order 60 day queue. Now, it's going to form an ad hoc relationship here, which is not what you need. That's okay. We can delete that. Okay. Delete it. Now, what we're going to do is before we get rid of this table, you're gonna change anything down here that says order T to order 60 day Q. See that? Copy that, tab, paste, tab, paste. Okay, now make this join here, right? Customer ID to customer ID. So let's make that same join over this way, right? Click, drag, and drop. And if it's an inner join or an outer join, change that. And now we can get rid of the order table. And we didn't lose anything down here. That's the trick. Yeah, it seems commonsensical, but I, I, I see people all the time that are like, oh man, okay. And now save this. And what's gonna happen is this query will evaluate first. It'll cut down a lot of the records. And then when the big query runs and joins it to the customer table, it's gonna run a lot faster, okay? So that's it. That's your fast tip for today. It's not all rocket science, folks. Sometimes these fast tips are gonna be just that, just fast tips. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you learned something. And I hope you like the new microphone. Do I sound okay? Um, yeah. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click on the bell icon to select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Make sure you click the Show More link down below the video to find additional resources and links You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. 
YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Even if you don't want to become a member, feel free to donate to my tip jar. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got puppies to feed. How do you become a member? Click on the Join button below the video. After you click the Join button, you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks. Silver members and up will get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class each month, and more. Gold members get access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault, where I keep tons of different functions that I use. You'll also get a higher priority if you decide to submit any tech help questions to me, and you'll get one free expert class each month after you finish the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks, plus even higher priority for tech help questions, access to all of my full beginner courses for every subject, and one free developer class each month after you finish the expert classes. These are the full-length courses found on my website, not just for access, too. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, and lots more. You can now become a Diamond sponsor and have your name or company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown in each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout-out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. But don't worry. These free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more, and they'll always be free. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access. It's over four hours long, and I just updated it for 2021. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below that you can click on. And also, if you like Level 1, Level 2 is just $1. Yep, that's all. One dollar. And it's free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level, even supporters. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page on my website. You can send me your question there. While you're on my site, feel free to stop by the Access Forum. Lots of good conversations happening there. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Once again, my name is Richard Ross. Thank you for watching this tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something today. I'll see you again soon.